What's up guys, this is Dom Dwyer. I'm a forward, number nine for Oakland Roots. Yeah, very excited to be in Oakland Roots. Um, it's a purpose-driven club. They're focused on the community. They want to build the community. They want to build for the people around the city. Um, it's not just soccer-based. Um, you know, they have, they have a, a structure for an academy. They have a structure for the community. They have a structure for building and helping. And it's truly focused on, on Oakland first. Yeah, it was tough. Um, you know, I still still had aspirations to play, still do, and um, feel like I can still perform at a high level. And um, my workouts were telling me that I needed to, to keep playing, and it wasn't time yet. Um, I'm 33, and feel like I got a little bit more time left. So, um, you know, I like to challenge myself always, and um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think you see the the amount of teams obviously in the league and the. The competition now it's 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 a difficult league um, it, it's not easy you ask any guy that's that's came from MLS or anywhere else um, it's not easy to come play in the USL um, obviously I had a taste um, back in 2013 and I understand the value of having this league and the opportunity that it gives players to play and um, you know for me it's an opportunity um, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to it and you know this is a league that gives so much and I feel like it's given me so much so an opportunity towards a later stage of my career to, to get back involved and you know see see if there's a quite a few more years in the tank let's let's see let's go for it you know what I remember was I, I felt very lucky and very grateful because it's always great to score a bunch of goals but I, I was I was picked on a really good team so obviously I got loaned out to Orlando and Orlando was one of the top teams in the league at the time so as a striker, you're going to get chances um, on a good team. So I was getting lots of chances and scoring goals. And, you know, for me, that's my job. It's what I do. So it's cool to know that that, that record still lies there. And, um, you know, obviously over time, um, guys are going to catch that. And, you know, maybe I can catch my own. Obviously, I missed a few games um, early in the season. But let's see. You know, for me, it's about winning games. And, and that's first. And then, you know, scoring goals is, is part of my job and what I like to do. Um, and, I've been fairly successful with that in the past, um, but for me, it's it's focusing on building this club, um, working on the foundations, and and helping the community, and then truly making a difference and and watching this club rise. I mean, I think it's just it's understanding what the group wants and what their desires are, and if they believe that you know, it can be a, a competitive team and, and a championship team. You know, I'm new coming in, so I'm going to find out myself what the aspirations of the group are and what the aspirations of the club are, are, are already a keen understanding that the club wants to, to go places and, and the moves they're making. Um, you know, I met a lot of the ownership yesterday. I understand what they're trying to do with the club and they're determined and this club will succeed. So I think it's surrounding it with a group of players that want to succeed and do that is going to bring success. And I think that hopefully I can help build that core and, and help the group that's already started this process and, and push it further. I think it's pretty amazing that the people from here are so proud to be from here. Um, you know, everybody loves Oakland, who I have spoke to in the last few weeks. Um, so many great things have been been said about the city, and now I felt very welcomed. Um, everyone's been very welcoming for me, um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to really finding my way around the city, getting my bearings, and and just enjoying Oakland. You know, I hear great things, and I think it's important um, to to immerse yourself in a community and understand what it means to be in Oakland. Um, it's a massive tournament, you know, I think it not only gives opportunities to young players, um, but also clubs in different leagues to compete against each other and the history that the competition has. Um, I think it, it speaks bounds and it's very important for US soccer and, and for the country to, to have the opportunity for all teams to be able to compete for, for one competition. Um, you know, I think that with history, you know, obviously there's newer clubs in the country. Some teams have only been around for a few years, so it's like over time people are going to understand the importance of these competitions and, and what the history brings and the excitement that it brings. You know, the fan base are going to remember over years and years and years the opportunities that you get. And it's an opportunity to play in a cup competition, not just a league, um, and, and compete against the highest level and, and test yourself. I had a night where I scored four goals against Dallas. I had a hat trick in the first half. That was pretty nice. Yeah, that was pretty nice. It was a. Uh, I've scored a decent amount of goals in the Open Cup, and I feel like I was always kind of fighting for my place in the team at the time, and then kind of got opportunities in the Open Cup. And then um, some teams take it more seriously than others, but I think it's it's a really exciting and important competition to try and win. You know, you only need a few games, and you're suddenly in a quarterfinal, and then you know, depending on if your draw is good or not, you don't know who you're going to play. Oh man, this game has gave me so much. Um, 
you know, I've been very blessed and lucky to share locker rooms and be, you know, rub shoulders with some amazing players, world-class players. Um, played in two All-Star games, scored against Real Madrid, um, had just some amazing special moments within the league um, and had different clubs, winning championships. Um, you know, it's hard to say if one sticks out most. I think just some of the players I was able to play with, play against, just be around, rub shoulders with. Um, there was one moment where Thierry Henry is my favorite player. Um, and I'd met him a few years before and then I started to do well in the league. And a couple years later, I met him at an event and he just, we was actually uh, before a game and he came up to me in the tunnel and he was like, I'm really proud of you. I'm really glad you're doing so well. And to hear that from your hero was just, a moment I'll never forget, so that's probably one of my best moments. I think just the love of the game, you know, the love of playing. Um, I love to compete, I love to play, I love being around the group, I love working as a team to win and, and understanding that, you know, it's, it's football and the beauty of the game is it's kind of unpredictable and you don't know what it's, what's going to come of it. So I think for me, it's I've always loved this game since I was a kid and you know, said I would do it for free as a kid. So when people started trying to pay me for it, I mean, it's I'm living the dream. So I'm I'm grateful. I'm excited. I'm happy, and I'm here to to give give a bit more back to the game and and take a bit more from the game and try and win some more championships um, before it's all said and done.